the shooter will start standing port arms, mag in, and action open. Upon the start signal, the shooter will assume a prone supported position and engage targets closest to furthest with two rounds each. Because this stage was fired from the supported prone position, our biggest factors were our wind calls and our elevation for the stage. I was fortunate when I went up to shoot the stage and that I did not have a very strong wind at that time, but it was changing directions throughout the period that I was observing the wind before I had to go shoot. My initial wind call was to hold left edge to point one off the left edge of that first target. As you can see, I missed my wind call by about point one to the left of where I'd been holding. So I have to switch it to the right edge of the target. As I transition to the second target, I adjust my hold, holding pretty much straight on for the second target because I thought the wind had died off a little bit and was wrong and it actually picked up and I now miss about 0 0.2, 0 0.3 off the right edge of that target for my first shot. At this point, I think I'd learned my lesson and translated that hold directly to the third target where the wind had shifted once again and my first round went exactly where I had the crosshairs. For my next two targets, I decided to maintain my center hold with no wind. I get a first round impact on the fourth target, very, very low on the plate, and it actually might have been a post hit after reviewing the video. I debate for a second where I might have nicked the plate at and decide to hold at 2 o'clock, getting myself a solid second hit. I translate that hold directly to the final target and am able to get two hits on the last target. This stage really demonstrated the variation we had in wind calls, even during a stage, and without that much wind. I only had a wind of a couple of miles an hour throughout that entire course of fire. I hope you guys enjoyed this debrief of one of the championship match stages. If you guys would like to see more of this content in the future, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe to the page.